Hi, welcome to my channel Yanam Takshasila. In this new video, I am going to solve a mathematical problem under the topic conics. So the problem is, find the value of C such that the second degree equation 12x square plus 7xy minus 12y square minus x plus 7y plus c equal to 0 represents a pair of straight lines. So what they have given? They have given a second degree conic equation and they are saying that it satisfies the pair of straight lines condition and using that condition you need to find the value of C. So what is that condition? The condition is ABC plus 2FGH minus AF square minus BG square minus CH square equal to 0. So we need to use that condition. First you need to write the given equation of conic then you need to compare this given equation of conic with the general equation of conic and obtain all those values and substitute those values in that condition to get the value of C. So as I told you before, first write the given equation of a conic that is 12x square plus 7xy minus 12y square minus x plus 7y plus c equal to 0. So number this is equation number 1. So next thing we write the general equation of a conic. So what is that? The general equation of a conic is ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. Now we need to compare this general equation of conic with the given equation of the conic and find those values. So here a equal to by comparing we will get a value is 12 and then h value that is 2h equal to 7 that means h equal to 7 by 2 and then b equal to minus 12 and g value that is 2g so in place of 2g you have minus 1 so g equal to minus 1 by 2 then 2fy so in place of 2f we have 7 so that means we get f equal to 7 by 2 and then c value is c now next thing you need to write that condition that is it says that the given equation of conic represents the pair of straight lines so we write the condition so given Equation 1 represents pair of straight lines. So we need to use that condition for this pair of straight lines condition. So the condition says that ABC plus 2FGH minus EF square minus BG square minus CH square equal to 0. Now we need to substitute all these values that is A value, H value, B value, G value, F value and C value and put these values in this to find the value of C. So what is A here? A is 12. Now B value is minus 12. Then C value is C. Then plus 2 into. So what is F? F value is 7 by 2. So we we'll put the bracket here. And G value is minus 1 by 2. Then h value is 7 by 2. Then minus a f square. What is a? a again 12. So f value is 7 by 2. So 7 by 2 whole square. Then minus b g square. So b is minus 12. So already minus this. So it will become plus. So 12 into g square. That is minus 1 by 2 whole square. Then minus c h square. c value is c h value is 7 by 2 whole square equal to 0. Now we need to simplify this. So 12 into minus 12 as you know that 12 to 12 is 144. So minus 144 c and you can cancel 1 2 here. So this will be minus 7. So minus 49 by 4. Then here minus 12 into 7 by 2 whole square is again 49 by 4. Then plus into this plus now this 12 into that is 1 by 2 square is 1 by 4 now here minus c that is 49 7 square is 49 so 49 c by 4 equal to 0 so what you do is you take lcm 4 so you can cancel here 4 1 jar 4 3 jar so minus so you get minus 144 C take LCM or you can write this as 
you will take LCM here that is take 4 it is better so we will take LCM 4 so 4 now multiply this this will be minus 4 4 jar 16 4 4 jar 16 1 7 then 4 1 jar is 4 that is 576 C so this is minus 49 so this will be 12 into 49 we will get 12 9 jar 108 then 12 4 jar 48 10 58 so this is 8 so 12 9 jar is 8 12 4 jar is 48 10 then 48 plus 10 that is 588 then this will be here that is 3 is there so so 3 into 4 again 12 then here minus 49 c equal to 0 now take this 4 to 0 cross multiply you can write this as minus 576 c minus 49 minus 588 plus 12 minus 49 c equal to 0 now here we have minus 49 is there minus 588 just add this so we will get minus so this will be so just add minus 49 this minus 49 minus 588 so we get 9 plus 8 17 145 13 so 637 plus 12 so subtract this again 12 so 12 this will be minus 625 so we get minus 625 now c is minus 576 c is there so minus 49 so this is again minus so 69 jar that is 50 uh, what is that 69 15 and this will be 2 and here you get 625 so this is c equal to 0 so this will be minus 625 c equal to take, uh, take this minus 675 to, 625 to that side this will be 625 so you get c equal to minus 625 by 625 so cancel this we'll get c is 1 that is minus 1 so final value is c value is minus 1 now if you want to solve more problems of this kind i have given you a link in the description please click on that link and this video is mostly suitable for polytechnic and engineering students if you like my video, please subscribe my channel. Yanam Takshasila for further updates. Thank you for watching my video.